I teach children from six months and up to self-rescue in the water. So that's learning how to navigate the water safely. I'm Lauren Rivers and I am a certified swim survival instructor. Drowning is one of the leading cause of deaths from kids one to four and 70% of those drownings happen during non-swim times. If you're talking a backyard pool, trying to make that as safe as you can for your child, the number one thing is barriers, an actual physical barrier around the pool or body of water, whether it's a pond, whatnot. High locks on any doors that can lead to the pool. Alarms, the time when the door is open or a window's open or even doggy doors. And then moving any chairs, tables, whatnot that kids can use to stand on to be able to open that fence. You should always either hire a lifeguard, a certified lifeguard, someone who's been through the training, a CPR certified, lifeguard certified, a designated water watcher, whether it's a family member, they know for that hour they're watching the water and that's their sole job. Someone should always be eyes on the water. Drowning does not look like what people think. It's silent and it's fast. That's when an emergency plan in place is going to be key. There's people that know how to do CPR and they can pull that person out. They can designate somebody to call 911, go outside and the fire engine, bring them back to the pool and they can take over from there. But shortening that time frame because you have a phone available on the pool deck for someone to use in an emergency and somebody else being able to start CPR right away has been the difference between life and death for a lot of these kids.